everyone, at the recording of this video I'm in Canada, and I was very worried I wasn't going to be able to record any squirrel content while I was here. But good news, my neighbors have some pests they need me to take care of. Black squirrels. I did some research and I found out that black squirrels have a very different diet than the squirrels back home. They eat cat food, small fish, and insect larvae. Well, let's go to the store and buy this stuff. Hi you guys, Ian C here, and I'm at the trapping location where we're going to trap these black squirrels. These little buggers are rascally and they've been sort of causing a ruckus late at night. We have a couple traps here, one big, one small, and we're gonna put them, put them both out. We're back from Safeway with the cat food, gold seal sardines, the king worm. Obviously, all of these have something in common. They're all gross. They're not something that humans would want to eat. Clearly, black squirrels are a little bit fucked, and I think that's probably because they're used to living in the shadows, eating from sewers and drainage ditches. What I've decided to do is we're gonna make a bit of a patty cake. Kind of like the pretty patty from Spun- No, not the pretty patty. The Sunday. Oh, um, I didn't realize these sardines actually come in a, some sort of- Yeah, they come in Thai chili sauce. It still smells more like fish though than Thai chili sauce, so I think we're okay. I just need to drain a lot of this like fluid out. Here's a little pod fella. This is a long gone fella, and this one is called a very active lifestyle guy. <laughs> I'm not doing that, he's doing that himself. With these three stages of life, we have created the trifecta of Tasty. But I was recently educated that you gotta crush the heads of these ones because uh, if you don't, they'll chew right through the esophagus of the black squirrels. Toenail clippings, puppy dog tails, little animal entrails are the secret ingredients chosen to create the perfect black squirrel bait and a little dose of chemical X. Uh, should I piss on it? They go inside. They step on the plate and they get trapped. Simple as that. You want to catch a bigger fish? You got to use a bigger bait. Mama me, mama me, mama me. You got to have to have a ringworm to think that's appetizing. I hate to break it to you, but if you think that's appetizing, you you also probably think that Miracle Whip tastes good. If you think this tastes good, you probably um you're probably a libtard. If you think that's appetizing, I got good news for you, pal. You're gonna have a great time in prison. <sighs> We're gonna be using this today. I'm not using this thing to vlog, guys. This is a tripod to hold the game cam. Get it through your thick skulls. I'm not gonna be vlogging with this sucker. Maybe I will be, just for this one shot, because it's kind of funny. What's poppin' trail cameras? Today I got with me two traps! That's twice the amount of squirrels and twice the action! That's what I'm talking about! We got one loaded to the gills with good snacks! And we ain't talking run-of-the-mill good snacks, we talking Safeway snacks! Alright, I'll set up this trail cam right there so we get a shot of both of these suckers and um, hopefully we catch a small army of black squirrels. Uh, don't call them dark squirrels, don't call them darkies, that's fucked up. Don't call them night squirrels, that's a little bit insensitive. We call them black squirrels, or Canadian African squirrels. <laughs> hey guys, I have a question for you. Uh, have you ever hit that little uh, notification bell down below? <laughs> Keep it loose in Squirrel City. Good news guys, I got word from the homeowner and the black squirrel's been trapped. Let's go get him. These are a lot calmer than the, uh, the, the brown squirrels. Do you see his tight little pink butthole? Can you see the little tight, can you get a good shot of the tight little pink black squirrel butthole? Kind of like a baboon's ass hole with the butt cheeks on it. 
Oh, and here's the mama black squirrel. The mama black squirrel took the bag inside of it. The bag was there to uh, protect them from the sun's harmful rays. Hi, mama black squirrel. Hi there. She's showing me her butthole. Wow, you got a pretty coat. Oh. oh. <laughs> I think I got some. <coughs> I think I got some in my mouth. <coughs> hmm. I think I got a little bit in my mouth. <coughs> I'm not too excited about it. <coughs> These gloves didn't do anything. I've heard of skunks spraying you. I've never heard of a squirrel spraying you. All right, I've covered it in towels. I have it isolated. I think it thinks it's in a safe little burrow. So now we're going to go release it with its child into the wild. We're now pulling into an animal wildlife reserve where these black squirrels can make a new life for themselves. We're gonna try to release the baby first and then the mother straight after. That way the mother knows exactly where to go, not toward us, but toward her precious little baby black squirrel. I want my baby bag, baby bag, baby bag, baby bag, baby bag, barbecue soul. I want the baby is gonna go out. Baby, go into the tall grass little baby other end baby there you go that is freedom all right i want to be quick no no oh success they're together we did it baby black squirrels gone baby gone Got a little bit of uh, excrement on my Funkel shirt. Not too happy about that. I think next time someone asks me to take care of their black squirrel problem, I'm probably going to say no, or at least get some sort of uh, zoot suit or some large suit that I can cover my clothes with. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today's video. We saved the black squirrels. We got a little stinky in the process, but that's a happy family that's happy and back where they belong. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, if you guys liked watching this video, then I want to recommend that you click the subscribe button because there's going to be more content like this more often throughout the coming years. you can only get rid of black black squirrel musk with uh, tomato juice Next time on Save the Squirrels Initiative, we will take on the establishment with a hotly anticipated video about squirrel rights in the USA. And for the Mouth of Hell fanboys, we're going to take a much deeper look to see what's going on down there. Thank you for watching everyone, and stay squirrely.